What's going on traders? My name is Paul. Welcome back to the channel and a brand new update for binary option trading where in today's video, we're going to be introducing to you a brand new two minute trading strategy for capitalizing fast profits in the binary markets. Now, this video might be a little bit longer than most of our traditional videos for the fact that we're going to be covering a wide variety of information because after all, this is a new strategy that we'll be talking about for the first time. And I want to ensure that you have enough information possible for you to walk away, try this strategy out for yourself and see if this is something that you can enjoy and benefit from as well. We're going to go over the charting set Setups. We're going to go over the rules that we need to follow because after all, this is a rules-based strategy. So we have levels of confluences that we need to look for in order to identify profitable trading positions. We'll also review the results and how using this very strategy I'll be teaching you allowed me to capitalize some significant profits with high win rates of up to 100%. We'll share with you our live trading footage using this strategy so that way you can see how it unfolds in a live trading environment. But more importantly, also share with you some additional information to increase your overall profitability. So with that being said, folks, we got a lot to cover. Smash out the like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And after you watch today's video, don't forget to check out the information down below in the video description to access our trading resources, including links to free demo accounts, my free binary option trading, information of our trading group, and information on automated trading services that we leverage to capitalize auto trading profits through the financial markets. So again, all that can be found down below, but without further ado, let's proceed and let's get to the charts. All right, traders, let's get started with today's video. And I do just want to give a quick shout out and give credit to where credit is due to the individuals who have brought this strategy to my attention over the past couple of months. And also credit to individuals on YouTube, such as BLW, who have also covered this strategy on their channel. It's a lot of fun covering different strategies and back testing different combinations to see what works and what doesn't. And with this strategy that we are going to be covering today, the results have been so far pretty impressive. So being that this is a new strategy, we're going to go over a lot of details in today's video. So if you do have any questions, questions or need help, drop a comment down below, but you can also email me directly, which is always best as I do check my emails on a daily basis. Now, being that this is also a new strategy, I'm sure that for many of you are going to want to try this out. So remember folks, that when it comes to any types of new trading strategies or methods that you want to implement to your trading, always back test on a demo account first. That way, if you're making mistakes while you're going through the learning process, you're not making those mistakes on your live account. As you know, I like to use Codex for my binary option trading, but this can be used on a wide variety of different platforms. But if you're looking for a new broker to diversify your binary trading or just want to use Quotex for their free demo accounts, I'll leave the link down below in the video description because you can access their demo accounts anytime that you want, regardless if you have an account with them or not. Now, this strategy is actually very similar to a moving average stochastic combination strategy that we've covered numerous times here on our channel. However, with the rules that we need to follow for this particular strategy, there are some differences and some add-ons that we need to look out for. And it's by following these rules that we're going to be teaching you today, we were able to capitalize some significant profits. And on top of that, it was a lot of fun to use. So with that being said, let's go over the rules. So first and foremost, we need to make sure that we are on a one minute time frame, meaning that every candlestick you see here represents a one minute time period of price data. So in order to change that, if you're using the Quotex platform, come here to this little tab and you're going to click here where it says one minute. Now we are using a one minute time period. However, we're going to be targeting two minute trades. So come up here to switch time. If you click it twice, where you can select a wide variety of different expiration times for this strategy, we're going to be targeting two minute trades. So again, one minute time period on your chart two minute expirations for your trades. Next, we need to apply a couple of indicators that we're going to be using as an added level of confluence to help us identify profitable trading positions. A 50 simple moving average, which is going to help us identify current trends. In order to add this, click on this little icon here, click on moving average. You're going to change the period to 50 and the type is going to be an SMA. Next, we're going to apply an RSI and a stochastics. So for the RSI, we'll come to this icon, click on RSI. Period's gonna remain at 14. However, for our overbought and oversold levels, we're gonna set them both at 50 because in this strategy, we're not looking for overbought and oversold levels of the RSI. So we're gonna be using this to understand the current momentum of the trend. To add stochastics, scroll down to the bottom. You'll find the stochastics right here. Settings will be 14, three, and three, and our overbought and oversold levels are gonna be set to 80 and 20. Once you do that, this is pretty much what your chart is going to look like. So the rules that we need to apply are as follows. First and foremost, we want to understand what type of trend we are in. Are we in a buyer's market or seller's market? If price is above our 50 moving average, we are in a buyer's market. So in this case, we're only looking for buy trades. Once we understand the trend, we want to look for crossover and upward momentums of our stochastics, which we can see here, 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 
and here. Now, before we enter the trade, we want to look at the position of the RSI. And because we're looking for buy trend positions, we want to make sure that the RSI is above the 50 line, which is the median level right here. Once you have these confirmations, enter for two minute buy trades. And as you can see, these would have been profitable buy trading scenarios. So I want you guys to understand, folks, that when we're using the RSI and the stochastics, we're not using them in the manner of the traditional overbought and oversold. With stochastics, we are looking for these crossovers to identify potential pivot points in the markets to enter trades. And with the RSI, because we're only using the 50 level, we're using the RSI in the manner to distinguish the momentum and trend. When the RSI is below the 50 level, this is usually a decrease in momentum towards the downside. But when the RSI is above the 50 level, this signifies momentum and strength toward the upside. So that is why in this scenario, for a buy trade, we want to ensure that the RSI is above our 50 level. However, if we're in a downtrend, if price is below our 50 moving average, this is a seller's market, so we're only looking for sell trades. So when we're looking at our stochastics, we want to cross over to the downside, which we have here and here. Now, later on in this video, I'm going to explain why we're not counting these points here. I'll explain more about this in detail towards the end of this video when I explain the best ways to use this strategy. But once we have our crossovers that we need, we'll look at the RSI and make sure that the line is below the 50, which it is. And as you can see, these would have been profitable sell trend positions. So I know that we just went over a lot of information in terms of the rules of this strategy. So I want to give you a couple of examples of how this unfolds in a live trading environment. If we look here at the GBP USD, where in this case, we took a buy position from our stochastics, we had the crossover and upward momentum, and we can see that the RSI is above our 50. Now, granted, we do have other levels of confluences, which we will cover later on in today's video. But just in terms of the rules alone, we can see that we have those levels of confluences and we're placing trades according to the trend. And because of that, we entered at a profitable position. Now for a sell trading position, we can see in this example for the Euro USD, we took a sell trading position for the fact that price was below our SMA. The RSI line was below the 50. We also had the stochastic confirmation of the crossover and downward momentum. Now, the ironic part of this trade is the fact that we lost this trade just by a second. If we were in this position just a second or two longer, this would have been a winning trade. However, I still consider this a good trade, even though our position should have been a little bit higher and we should have waited just a couple seconds longer before we entered the trade. Our analysis was on point and we had the required confluences needed in order to enter this sell trade position. So even though the trade itself didn't win, our analysis was correct. So our first session, which we kind of gave you a little bit of a teaser in our last video, we had five winning trades out of six, giving us an 83% win rate and a $1,700 profit return and an increase of 3.5% to our account. This was our first attempt in using this strategy in a live trading environment, and it was a great turnout to say nonetheless. Even though that trade for the Euro USD should have been a winning trade, given the fact that our analysis was on point, the fact that we still walked away with five out of six winning trades, needless to say, I was very pleased. Then a couple of days ago on the 14th of February, we attempted to apply this strategy in live markets once again. And as you can see, folks, the results were much better. Four out of four winning trades, no losses, 100% win rate, over $1,900 in profit return, and a 3.85% increase to our account. Now, just between these two sessions alone, we're looking at a 90% win rate with only one losing trade out of a total of 10, giving us a total profit return of over $3,600 and a 7.35% increase to our total account. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I do just want to clarify the reason why I'm going over the percentages in terms of the increase of the account is because this is in regards to our risk management. It's something we've covered before in previous videos, and I cannot stress enough the importance of having a proper risk management plan. A lot of times, people will look at these trades and say, well, if you had four profitable winning trades, why don't you just continue to place more trades? And granted, while I could have placed another trade or two, and maybe those would have been more profitable trades, I would have made more money, the next trade could have been a losing trade. And then that losing trade would have damaged my profits. When it comes to trading binary and Forex, it's not a question of how many trades you can place in a day or in a session. The most important thing you want to focus on is having a target goal for your profit, but also having a limit to how much losses you want to sustain in any given day. If you're only willing to lose two to 3% of your accounts, whatever you reach first, your target daily goal for profits or daily limit of loss, stop trading for the day. That's why I stopped trading once I had that losing trade for the Euro USD, And that's why I also stopped trading once we gained a fourth consecutive win. Hope that helps folks. If you have any questions on that, let me know. But now what I'm going to do is share with you our live trading footage of our perfect winning session you in the strategy and then we're going to return and explain how you can use this strategy the best way possible and pinpoint some more accurate trades so let's take a look
Okay, folks, so now let's talk about ways on how we can use this strategy at an optimal level to not only identify better trading positions with higher accuracy, but also how to eliminate those false signals that might occur as well. So when we're looking at, you know, RSI and stochastics, especially with the stochastics, right? A lot of times people trade in the manner of when the stochastic is fully overbought, we look for sell trades. And when it's fully oversold, we look for buy trades. Now, a lot of times, yes, that does work, but that can also put you in a bad position of entering a buy trade or a sell trade but price just continues in that trend and you end up in a loss here we have the stochastics is fully extended beyond the overbought levels and according to the rules right if we're looking for the crossover and downward momentum we enter for a sell trade but as you can see if you had entered the sell trades at the crossover of these extended levels price would continue to go up and these would have been losing trades and in this area where the stochastics is fully extended to the oversold levels even though we had the crossovers which would normally signify buy trading positions price continued to go down which would have resulted in losing trades. So depending on whether you're looking for buy trades or sell trades, depending on the trend that you're in, you want to look for those crossovers where the stochastics are in between the regions of the 80 and 20, not beyond it, but in between them. All right. So in this case, here we have a bit of a downtrend. We had a crossover that wasn't fully extended, right? It wasn't fully extended to the overbought levels. This crossover occurred within these two barriers, and this would have been a profitable trade. We also see buy signals here between the crossover and upper momentum of the stochastics. These crossovers occurred within the 80 and 20 barriers. We also have the confluence of our RSI. So these two areas here would have been profitable by trading positions. So again, folks, it is ideal with this strategy to target crossovers of the stochastics that occur within the barriers of the 80 and 20 levels. Yes, you can target trading positions if they are extended to the 80, to the overbought and oversold levels, but you also want to combine that with other levels of confluences, which is what we're going to get into right now. But by following these parameters, you are going to have less trading signals. However, the quality of those signals have proven to be better. And at the end of the day, folks, when it comes to trading, it's quality over quantity. Now, remember, folks, that when it comes to any types of strategies, whether it's this one or any other one that you find, remember that all strategies works. The difference is the person using it. And this strategy is no different. You never want to just rely on the indicators alone for placing trades. While that can be helpful at times and you might see some profitable trades here and there, it's not always going to be consistent, which is why it's really important that you apply your analysis with whatever indicators and strategy that you're applying, especially with this one that we have been using today. And this is the main contributing factor as to why between these two sessions, we were able to capitalize a 90% win rate and a 100% win rate from our most previous session. When we look back at that Euro USD trade for a buy, we had the confirmations of the indicators. But in addition to that, we also saw that price was reacting off of a region of support, which also correlated as a support level off of the moving average. And remember, folks, that moving averages can at times serve as a level of support and resistance. And then in this example for a buy trade for New Zealand dollar Japanese yen, we had the confirmations from the indicators from the RSI from the stochastics, but we also saw that price was reacting off of a support level. We also see a strong wick rejection from that level. And on top of that, we also had a minor divergence. So as you can see, folks, the more levels of confluences you combine together between a rules based strategy and your analysis, the better trading opportunities you're going to be able to identify, which will reflect in a positive manner in your trading results. All right, traders, that concludes our video for today. And I just want to clarify, folks, that there is no such thing as a perfect winning strategy. No strategy is going to give you 100% winning results all the time. However, when they are used properly, you can and will experience those perfect winning sessions from time to time, which is very exciting. And it was really exciting to experience that myself using this brand new strategy. So I hope that this strategy benefits you as well. Don't forget to check out the information down below in the video description for all of our trading resources, free demo accounts, information of our trading group and auto trading systems that we use and leverage in the markets. If you have any questions, reach out anytime. And I want to thank each and every single one of you for taking the time watching this video. Hope you enjoyed it. God bless. Take care. Happy trading.